aesthetically it looks great, but also, I mean, the weight was something that jumped out at me right away. When we first got it, I remember I still have the, the prototype helmet that I had and um, some pictures were circling on the internet because we had like this crazy design that was basically every signature design that, that Troy had ever made just in white. Um, but I was just stoked to be out there, you know, in the next, I mean, iconic helmet of the brand. There's never a situation where you where you don't want ventilation in a helmet. One of the first things throwing the thing on years ago that I was instantly surprised by how much ventilation you get in. It was almost kind of weird, like feeling, actually feeling air coming through the helmet and onto your hair and onto your head. Come outdoor season, that's something that I was so happy to have and find that next step of uh, keeping myself cool. I have a lot of helmets that I kept as like keepsakes and even picking those off the shelves and looking at them today. It's kind of crazy like how light and how, you know, being that light, it can be that much safer. That adds a little bit of confidence every time you throw a leg over the bike. You know, motorcycles, you know, naturally a dangerous sport, but to, you know, to throw the safest helmet that you can on your head before you head out um, definitely adds a little bit, little bit level of uh, confidence that you don't have before. You see some of these helmets that are priced a little cheaper and uh, definitely don't advise taking that route and, and finding the limits of your helmet, but it's there when you need it, that's for sure. I've hit the ground hard in that thing. And I've, I've actually destroyed one of the first replicas that we had. I was pretty impressed with how hard I hit the ground and, and how safe my head was. So I hit my shoulder so hard that I broke a piece of my neck and I put a hole in my helmet, <laughs> like a pretty big size hole in it. That could have been a really bad situation had I not been in the safest helmet in, on the market. And then talking with Troy after that crash, going over the safety aspects of it and how much money he put into testing and de developing you know, this helmet. and. Not only stacking it up against the SE3, but also putting it up against every uh, helmet on the market, low speed, high speed, um, and trying to develop you know the best helmet that he could. And I was proud to put this thing on my head. For more information on the products listed in this video, click on the link in the description area below. Feel free to call us with any questions or place an order at 800-969-7501. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe for all of the latest DK events, videos, and promos.